Are you having trouble playing bar chords? A lot of ukulele players have a hard time with it or just avoid playing them all together. But I want to help you take that first step to learn how to play bar chords. It's just like taking a first step on a journey to level up your playing. So I want to show you four tips on how you can learn and master bar chords. So go grab your uke, tune it up, and I think we're going to uke. Hey there, ukulele fans. Thanks for joining me at I Think I'm Going to Uke. My name's Tony, and in this lesson, I want to teach you how to play bar chords. My goal is to teach you how to really play the ukulele. Not just play songs using the ukulele, like a type of karaoke, but really learn how to play this instrument. Yes, it is easy to learn, but it is a real musical instrument, and to get better, you do need to practice and learn technique. I know a lot of ukulele players out there really get intimidated by bar chords, but they're essential to progressing further with the ukulele. So if you don't feel comfortable playing bar chords, you're going to be very limited in what you can do and what you can play on the ukulele. So I want to help you, bring you through this next step. So take a deep breath, relax, and let's learn how to play these. Bar chords are very helpful because it allows you to change the key by using your first finger to serve as the nut, like up here at the top. If you didn't know, this white piece is called the nut. So if you change the point causing the tension in the strings, you're going to change the pitch in all the notes. By changing the pitch, not only can you play a song in a different key that might be more comfortable for you to sing, but the real power of bar chords is that you can use the same chord shape but play a different chord. Like you could play an A, B, C, D. But I'll save that for another lesson. For now, I'm just going to focus on using your first finger for barring. But as you progress, you should also practice and master bar chords but using all your fingers. Like this. Tip number one. The first tip is to hold your ukulele properly so you can shift your thumb to the middle of the neck here. So the neck should be about 45 degree angle and tucked under your arm like this. So don't hold it down like this like a guitar. Hold it up like a ukulele. So from this position, you can apply the right amount of pressure with your thumb and your first finger. Like this. So you might have to shift your hand a little bit to where your thumb is in the middle. So one of the reasons that people have trouble trying to play bar chords is simply just not holding the ukulele in the proper position. Okay, tip number two is to be sure to use your whole finger. Make sure your whole finger is stiff, like a clamp. One of the reasons that people have trouble playing a bar chord partly is because they've never done it before, but also that they, don't, they only put pressure on the fingertip here and not put pressure along the entire base of their first finger. So this way when you squeeze with your thumb, you're applying an even pressure along the whole length of your first finger and not just at the tip. So pretend your finger and your thumb are like a chip clip or pretend you're holding a piece of paper and try to make the whole length of your finger, like the entire length of your finger here, hold that tension, nice and even pressure along the whole way. So it does take a little practice, but you will get it. So remember, learning an instrument is not only a mental exercise, but your body, your hand, your muscles, they also need to learn how to do these skills. That's why they say the ukulele is good for the mind, the soul, and the body. The third tip is to fine-tune your finger pressure to the point where you can play a clean tone through all the strings, like this. Now the part you need to adjust or fine-tune is not to apply too much pressure, but just enough to achieve that clear tone. If it's too little, you're going to end up muting the strings. And if it's too much, you won't be able to slide your finger up or down the neck like you need to. So you do need to control the amount of pressure and lessen it just slightly where you can slide your barring finger up and down the neck and still have clean tones across all the strings. So a good practice is when you play with all open strings, that's a C6 chord. And if you bar the first fret, that's a C sharp. If you go to the second fret, that's a D6, D sharp, and so on. So work your way down the neck of the ukulele and make sure every string is a nice clean tone. That way you know that you're holding the even pressure. It is pretty common that your hand or your fingers may hurt a little bit after a little exercise or practice, but that's really because your muscles just aren't used to making this shape or holding pressure like this. But your hand and your fingers will get stronger, your muscles will learn how to do it, and you'll feel more and more comfortable with bar chords the more you practice. Alright, the next tip is if you're still having trouble keeping an even pressure across all the strings, 
is to use the hard bony edge, like the bony side of your finger here. So to do this, you will need to bring your elbow in closer to your body like this, so that way you can rotate your wrist and play with the edge of your first finger to hold it at a good angle and bar using the side of your finger. But as you practice, uh, you should feel and should try to use the soft bottom pad of your first finger and rely less and less on using the hard side of your finger. But sometimes ukulele players do need to play this way to kind of get started. But as you practice, as you get better, you should be able to use the soft underside here. All right, now let's practice. Let's try a B minor. So hopefully after just a little bit of finger exercise, your B minor should sound a little better. You can also try a B7 or maybe a D7. Like these definitely are the most common bar chords you're going to encounter. But you can actually find a bar chord for every version of every chord. And that's really what opens up your playing ability and opens up the power of using bar chords. And now by using bar chords, you can actually play every chord along the neck. And you can reuse the same shape. You will need to practice this technique and use the practice exercise I showed you earlier about barring every fret. You kind of work your way down the neck and back up, playing each string to make sure it sounds clean. So you can tell if you're applying just the right even pressure across all the strings. Well, I hope this lesson really helped you. If you learned something, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already. If these tips really helped you, uh, let me know in the comments below. Or maybe now you've developed chronic arthritis, let me know how your bar chords are going and progressing. Well, until next time, have fun playing and God bless.